Hey guys, what is going on? My name is Sigma HD, and I'm back with another GTA 5 online video. Today guys, I'm going to be showing you a glitch on how you can get the free DLC cards online using a supercar glitch. Now this enables you to get the Grotti Turismo, the Dinka Jester, and also the Albani Alpha. Now if you guys go ahead and do enjoy today's video, please support it by hitting that thumbs up button guys, let's try and reach over 150 likes. I know you guys can do it because you support me day in and day out, it's absolutely amazing of how much support you guys give me, which is amazing, so keep it up. and also guys if you're new around here make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button and join me on my road to 10k subscribers anyway guys without further ado let's get into today's video so the exact first thing that you guys need to do is you'll need to go into a normal GTA 5 online session. It doesn't really matter which session you go in as long as you go in a session that's either open or invite only or whatever. And you want to choose a location of where you want to actually spawn the vehicle into GTA online. So you want to stand somewhere random. It doesn't matter where you stand as long as you stand somewhere. So for example, I'm just running along the road here. I'm standing right here. And the key bit that you need to keep in mind is you need to click start, go to online, go down to options right here, and then go put your spawn location to last location now some people are having problems with this glitch by using this method with the last location bit so the best method to do is actually click last location to make sure you spawn locations last location leave GTA online and then just spawn back into online in your last location and then continue the glitch from there so we're going to move on to the next step now guys that's the first step put your spawn location to last location and now we're moving on to the second step so once you have set your spawn location to last location, all you want to do is you want to go ahead and click start, go to the side to go to Xbox Game Store or the PlayStation Network Store. You want to click it twice and then as it's zooming out of the actual map itself, so when it goes 1, 2, 3, click your Xbox start button, click sign out and actually sign out of your account and then click off the thing and just wait for story mode to load up. So now that the story mode has actually loaded up, you want to go ahead and click start and then click your dashboard or your PlayStation Network dashboard key icon indicator. Then you want to go and sign back into the account that you want to put the vehicle onto. It doesn't matter which account as long as you're using the same account you did with the start. So you want to simply sign back into that. It will take a long time because, you know, Xbox does take a long time to sign back into the accounts, which they need to fix in my opinion. So I'm signing back in now and it's just taking its time as usual. So we're just going to wait a couple of seconds until it signs back into my account. So just wait a few seconds until it's done that. And now once it's done that, it should return you into online on Xbox Live. You want to click off the dashboard and you want to go onto your game setting. You want to load game and choose the latest save you have with the DLC cars on it. So that includes the Dinka Jester, the Grotti Turismo and also the Albani Alpha. So make sure you've got a save that's got those vehicles on it or you're spawning somewhere with a quick save where you saved with the vehicle next to you just so you're ready to put this into online. So we're going to moving on to the next step now. So once you have officially spawned into your single player mode, you want to go ahead and grab the vehicle that you want to transact into GTA Online, which is one of the DLC cars. I chose the Grotti Turismo R in my perspective, because I'm actually getting this for my friend Aquanite ZR. I'll leave a link in the description, make sure to go subscribe to his channel, he's an awesome guy. He needs more subscribers, so go check him out, link's in the description. So really, highly appreciated if you guys do check him out, because he needs those subscribers and he needs those views. So what you want to do is you actually want to take the vehicle to the location where you actually put your last location as. So this is the area right here I did at the start of the video, if you guys can remember. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be parking my vehicle right here. So then what you want to do is you want to hold down on the D-pad and quickly swap to your GTA Online character as fast as possible. And then what you can do is you can move on to the next step so forward. So once you've got your vehicle into GTA Online, what you'll want to do is you want to have a friend watch over the vehicle for you. This is the main step part of the glitch. So you want to have your friend just in a car or standing next to the vehicle that you want it to put into your garage. And you want to simply actually just walk into your garage as you normally would. And while your friend is watching the vehicle, you can see it's not disappeared or anything. It's still there. It's still in its shape and form. And then you can carry on to the next step. So make sure a friend is watching the vehicle over for you while you repeat and actually go on to the next step. So once you've spawned inside your garage from actually walking in from outside, you want to simply walk over or run over to a vehicle you want to select. Just It doesn't matter which vehicle it is, it can be absolutely any. I just chose the BF Bifter. Then what you want to do is, as the engine's starting, get out your phone, go to Quick Job, Join Random, and as you're about to click A, you want to click A and RT at the exact same time. So you want to click A and then RT as fast as possible. So the engine's starting up, and if you've done it right, once this actual loading screen's zooming out of the map, you will hear the garage doors open. You know what the garage doors 
those sound like when they open. If you hear that, then you've done this glitch correctly, but if you haven't heard it, then you're going to have to do all of this over again. Not in the entire bit, but you're just going to have to do that simple step over again. So, what it's doing is now it's actually putting me into a random mission, and what you'll want to do is once it's actually put you in the mission, I joined this random mission coveted, and I didn't want to play it because I want to go back and actually get the vehicle for myself, which I actually messed up, surprisingly, but you guys should be able to do it if you follow these simple steps. So, what you want to do is you want to click B, and it just says, are you sure you want to quit this job? You want to say yes, and then what you should do is it should spawn you in a glitch where your garage is just there and you're walking out of the doors and your vehicle or whatever vehicle you've chosen to spawn into online you can simply get inside of it and you can just drive it into your garage so it's an awesome glitch there's no errors or anything like that because I actually did this glitch wrong so the vehicle should be standing there you'll be able to get inside it and drive it into your garage and simply insure the vehicle so guys I hope this glitch helped you out if you did go ahead and leave a like rating on the video that'd be very much appreciated and also guys if you're new around here make sure you go ahead and subscribe for some more GTA videos. Anyway guys, I've been Sigma and I'll catch you guys next time.